This is my outdoor turtle enclosure in my garden. I live in Auckland, New Zealand, so the summer is warm enough to keep them outside. I'm going to take them back inside in the winter though. I have two redhead sliders and you can see them there. One's bigger than the other, but they're actually the same age. This whole area that it's built in used to be the vegetable patch, but the soil wasn't very good, so I decided to put the enclosure here, plus it gets quite a lot of sun throughout the whole of the afternoon. I'll put another video on YouTube of with the, the photos of each stage so you can see what it looked like at the different points. And it shows you also how to like build each bit. I chose to use a bath because obviously it's waterproof and it was cheaper than getting a preformed pond. Uh, I got it second hand and it was free so it was a lot cheaper than buying one of those plastic ones plus it's a lot bigger. I did the basking area by leaving some of the soil in but then putting a plastic sheet over it and then putting the sand on top of the sheet. The sheet has holes in so the water drains out. There's the cave there for them to hide in and also get out of the sun. It's just built out of wood, just a big box. Um, if the water get overflows from the bath when it rains, it'll just go down the side and soak into the soil and come out underneath as if it would when it was a vegetable patch. Um, I put some stones on the bottom just to hide over the white, really, of the bath. But you still see it's white, but it's not so shockingly white anymore. I put a lid on to stop the predators getting them. It's just wood with the wire mesh. Used a wide wire mesh so the sun still gets down onto them. That's the whole point of them being outside, really. Uh, the padlocks there are just so you can't lift it up easily for cats, mostly, because they can just flick their paws underneath because it's not that heavy. Um, the padlock isn't really that necessary, but you know, it just makes me feel a bit more comfortable about them being outside. I would recommend putting a lid on though because predators can get at them and it's high enough in this lid that nothing can, no birds can peck at them. Um, I have got the filter running in there, but it's not really suitable for my outdoor power at the moment so I've got to fix that and get it running properly so I can run the filter all the time plus I want to get um, some other water features in there somehow but I might do that over the winter when they're back inside um, yeah that's pretty much what my enclosure looks like and if you want to see it, what it used to look like at the different stages then you can watch my other video on YouTube